Hello everyone, welcome to this video. As the title indicates, we're going to be going through the process today of installing Kudo Miner on our Linux Mint version 20 machine. So, let's get started. So, um, I have a few free, a few uh, screenshots I'd like to go over first of all. And so, let's see here. Here's the first one. This shows the uh, the front page when you uh, go to Kudo Miner, and as you can see from here, it is compatible with Windows machines, Ubuntu machines. Um, this is for if you install their uh, special operating system through USB, and this is um, if you have a Mac machine. So this is. Uh, similar or possibly the first thing that you're going to see when you go to Kudo Miner. Okay, and for the next one, um, after you click on Setup in the previous um, in the previous screen, it's going to bring you here to log in. What you're going to do is you're going to sign in with one of these three options: either sign in with Google, sign in with Microsoft, or with your email. I chose email, but you make your own choice. All right. And then after you sign in, you may see this screen. So if you see this screen, don't panic. Um, that's just Kudo Miner uh, building the settings on your dashboard. So uh, wait for a few minutes, you know, like one to three minutes and then if this if this still occurs come over here and refresh your screen if that doesn't work then come over here to the top right and then left click on this icon here and you should be able to log out once you log out I want you to log back in and then that should take you to this screen the welcome screen from here just click on get started and then from there you should be able to go to your dashboard alright and then I'm already signed in once you sign in you should see a dashboard similar to this um, you won't have any uh, devices on it yet and you may see this right here uh, you can choose whether or not you want to go through uh, and configure your account for multi-factor authentication. I'm going to go ahead and dismiss it. All right. And now from here, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and um, configure a device on your machine. So what you want to do is I would go to, you're going to see either connect a device here or you can come over here to the left hand side and click on devices and then you'll see how you can connect a device from there so let's go ahead and connect a device alright it brings you here and what you want to do is you want to install the software on your uh, on, a, on a compatible operating system that you have for me um, I have Linux Mint version 20 but that's, um, that's a similar derivative or distro as Ubuntu. So we're going to be choosing Ubuntu. And then we're going to click on continue. All right. Then we're going to take this script here. We're going to copy it. All right. And then we're going to open up a terminal on our computer. And then we're going to paste it in here. This is going to be the install script. You press enter, it's going to ask for your password. You enter your password. And you press enter. And it'll start the script. All right, now for me, I chose number one. I tried the headless option, but that didn't seem to work for me. So I chose number one, and then I pressed enter. And then for here, I chose stable channel, which is right there. And then I chose enter again. Then it's going to go ahead and install 
your uh, Kudo Miner Worker, which is the software that's going to run on your computer. In a few minutes, it's going to ask me if I want to go ahead and continue with the installation. Obviously, I'm going to choose Y for yes. There we go. And then it's going to continue with the installation. And it is done. So there you go. The installation is complete. Now, once you go ahead and just minimize this, and then back on your online console, or, or I'm sorry, your online uh, dashboard, you want to go ahead and click Next or Continue. All right, and it's going to ask you to go ahead and save this organizational name. So you want to make sure you go ahead and uh, copy it. And I would save it to a um, to a text file. And so I already have it saved. And then you just click on continue. And then you should be good to go. Go ahead and click on devices. Now it's going to show your device right here. It may show as disabled. Okay, but. That's how you go ahead and install your uh, device on uh, Kudo Miner. Um, if you wouldn't mind, I I put a um, a link, an affiliate, an affiliation link in the description. It would help me out if you guys were, if you did decide that you wanted to go ahead and do crypto mining through uh, Kudo Miner, to go ahead and click on that link. Um, in the next video, we're gonna go ahead and talk about configuring. Kudo miners to work on your computer, and we're going to go over um, um, Monero, which is a crypto coin that we can use to uh, mine with. The reason why I chose Monero is because it's a cryptocurrency that when you get ready to mine with, it, um, it uses your uh, CPU as opposed to an ASIC or a GPU, which is your video card. Um, Monero is one of the few uh, cryptocurrencies that uses only your CPU. So, thank you very much. I appreciate you looking at this video, and you have a good day.